Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. Today we are going to talk about You Can't Catch Me by Katherine McKenzie. This is a thriller book about a girl named Jessica Williams. The reason why I remember her name when I don't remember anyone else's name in any of the books I read when I do my reviews is because the name was part of this book. So Jessica Williams goes to a bar. She's about to get on a plane to go somewhere. I can't remember where. It's not important. And she uh, orders a drink. Another girl comes, sits down next to her. Uh, when her order comes, the person says, Jessica, and the girl says, yes. And the girl next to her says, yes. And they start talking and they find out that they have the same name, Jessica Williams. Not only do they have the same name, but they also have the same birthday. Okay, so they start a game of 20 questions. 20 questions. What is your, you know, where were you born? Did you have any pets? To see how many of commonalities that they have as two people. All right, so then they get on their separate planes and they leave. Then Jessica Williams, number one, finds out that her identity has been stolen. And not just that, but the lawsuit money that she had is now gone from her account. So she goes to find Jessica Williams, number two. And in doing so, finds out that there are multiple Jessica Williams in the United States, probably like six or seven, that were born on the same day as Popular her. name. Apparently so. So she goes on a quest to find these other Jessica Williams to see if they have also been taken advantage of so they can trap Jessica Williams number two. That is the basic story of You Can't Catch Me. What are your thoughts so far? That sounds really funny, actually. <laughs> um, uh, when, when you hear the title, I'm reminded of Catch Me If You Can, but this is not that. Um, <laughs> I was too. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, like, th this idea that a whole bunch of people had the same name and, like, it's a source of fraud is actually really interesting. Yeah, the author basically said that they got this idea because somebody else had the same name as her and there was this big, like, mix-up. Now, there wasn't fraud in her case, but yes, they had a big mix-up about it. Which is, this would be a really good idea for a book. And it is. But there's something I didn't tell you. So the main character, Jessica Williams, grew up in a cult. Oh. And she was smuggled out by this older man, along with a bunch of other people at different times. So like he would periodically smuggle people out of the cult. Um, it was like, you know, one of those like yeah. places where they lived out in the country, you know, and they're off the grid. Drink Kool-Aid. Right, so she's got issues. <laughs> Let's just be honest. She has issues. And the things that should have happened to her in the cult do come back. And it may sound like this is two completely different stories, but they do mesh together at the end in a very interesting, creative way I did not see coming at all. So, this book I gave three stars only because, and I mean you're thinking, like, you're talking like it should be like a four star. The book was great, but there were some things in this book that I was like, uh huh? Like this, I just can't suspend a realism for what is happening in this book. Like it just, there were just some things. And then there was like a twist at the end, like a second to last twist at the end where they tried to explain how all of this happened and like how it got, kind of got flipped on its head a little bit. That I was like, okay, that's just, no, that's just too convenient, and there are very big plot holes in this, and it just didn't come together for me. But then another, there was like multiple twists, okay? But then there were more twists, and I was like, alright, I like this, okay. I liked the ending, I thought it was interesting, but because of all these plot twists, I had to give it three stars instead of four. But the story itself was very interesting, I thought. Um, so yes. What do you think? Does it seem kind of interesting to you? I I don't know, to be honest. Like, uh, I, you kind of had me up until you said that there were so many twists, but then they caused plot holes. Right. I don't know. If you're interested in this book, all the information will be down below. And until next time, stay learning. Bye-bye.